What's up, guys? Welcome back to the MLG Winter Exhibition, a consolation bracket from the 2013 MLG Winter Championships involving the losers of round one of that tournament. We're giving them a second chance to get some money. First place gets a thousand bucks. Second place gets five hundred. And we currently have Bly, who is one win away from advancing to the next round. Of course, yesterday we had Marine King Prime play against Seed. That was a fantastic match. If you missed that, the VODs are up at youtube.com slash official MLGSE2. Check it out. But shall we continue? Let's do it. Game number four. Bly is up two to one. Can Suppy mount a comeback try to even up the score? Whirlwind is going to be the map, and that's a huge map. Yep. Remember, this is the map where uh, Life used that six pull against MC. Can, uh, can Bly pull something out? We saw him pull it out already, though, and it didn't work out so well for him. So... Maybe we'll be more hesitant to, to pull it out again. Yeah, um, it, it's always a tricky prospect in ZVZ, of course. Drones are kind of okay uh, in the early game, at least against Zerglings. Um, and we're when you're talking about ZVP, it's like, all right, are they walling off? Are they going Nexus first? What kind of corners are they cutting? So we're not seeing any pools in that production tab uh, just yet. Oh, so. very fast gas by Bly, though. Ooh. He's going to be opening speed before expansion, something that used to be very popular in ZVZ. But, you know, as of late, it hasn't been quite so popular. I mean, I guess there was a possibility for some really fast baitings, but most likely going to be fast speed and then baitings a little bit later in the game. Suppy going for the hatchery first, so he's going to be stuck on the defensive. But if he can defend, that extra production is really going to do wonders for him as the game goes on. Oh, absolutely, of course. Uh, the ability to have a superior income as well, of course. Whenever you're the defender um, in ZVZ, uh, if you can, if you can hold off whatever your opponent is throwing at you optimally, and get additional drones out, that can be huge, leading to the next stage of the match. Of course, you know ZVZ is usually a story about, all right, how many units do I need to make to fend this attack off? How much is my opponent investing into this aggression? And then furthermore, uh, you know, will I be prepared? for the inevitable counterattack. Because if you, if you think about it, in ZVZ, if you're attacking your opponent with Zerglings and Banelings, and you're scaring them, they're going to be making a lot of units. And behind that aggression, usually you're going to be making drones. Now, it's up to you to be like, all right, sure, I can apply this aggression, but you, you have to be ready for, of course, the counterattack. Because if they're making all those extra units, they're going to send them back at you. And that's a, a very scary moment of ZVZ that's honestly a pretty fascinating part of the matchup that's, that's really fun to watch and, and pay attention to. Indeed it is. We can see speed now is halfway done for Bly, whereas Suppy's spawning pool is just now finishing. So uh, it's going to be really tricky here. Is he going to put down a spine core? There it goes. First spine core, bottom right of that uh, corner of that hatchery. A great spot where we can cover the ramp and also protect every single side of the hatchery as well. Plenty of Zergians being produced by Suppy. Two queens halfway done. But Bly is, is he's, he's closing in. Suppy has uh, 100 gas. Okay, Suppy, just uh, Banely Nest just now beginning, has not started speed just yet, trying to get that spine up and running. Meanwhile, Bly, uh, the Banely Nest is done for him. Speed about to finish, making nothing but lings in that production tab. As of right now, five Banelings are being made outside of Suppy's natural expansion. Bly wants to get a lot of damage done. Suppy, meanwhile, he has yet to start speed. But again, that's less important when you're the defending player because, um, you know, if you're on creep, it's not a gigantic deal. What's more important is just having a, a baneling or two is going to be great. It's protecting your spine crawlers, protecting your queens. Another spine crawler going down. I'm kind of surprised that he's not making a third queen here, but he wants to spend all those minerals on more Zergine production as oh. well as. Ooh. Nice, nice little pickoff there for a sub beginning. Ready one of those banings. Now they're coming into spine core. Goes down. Going two more banings left from Bly. Yep, straight into that spine crawler. Uh, Queen gonna get targeted down for a second before the links decide they want to take down the spine crawler. That's about halfway done. That's gonna get canceled here by Suppy, but Suppy staying strong on that ramp. He now has Banelings on the field, about four of them. That's going to be uh, very helpful in fending this off, and Bly has two drones in production behind this. So definitely wants to transition Bly just now throwing a bunch of Lings into those Banelings, and Suppy looking good so far. He is the question here is can he identify when the aggression is over and return yep. to mass droning? Because even though he's had the extra hatchery, he hasn't really had a drone advantage. In fact, Bly is a player with the drone advantage. But remember, Suppy has two queens, two hatcheries, which means his production yep. is 
double blight. So if he can just, he can easily crack out drones as soon as he identifies what's going on here. I mean, he has an overlord outside of his opponent's natural expansion node, so he has been able to identify that his opponent has not been sending those lings uh, across the field, and we could see Suppy transitioning. He has those drones in production. Metabolic boost has begun as well. But now Bly is going back into that unit production. I mean, th this is kind of a story of Bly's playstyle. He loves being aggressive. If he gets shut down, he'll just make more units and go again, and I think that's that's, that's what's happening here, making a lot more links. He's not done uh, with with the pressure. Not Suppy's done. speed is now halfway done. He has uh, plenty of, sp of uh, Zerglings on his own, so once he gets speed, he can put on some counter-aggression. Until then, morphing a few more banings, making sure he'll be safe on a defensive end. Of course, he sees everything Bly is doing outside of his base. Bly sharking here with some speed, he's but a spine crawler. In fact, a second spine crawler being Built by Suppy. Uh, yeah, I, I almost feel this may be over defending here, but what that does mean is all a very strong counterattack with his very high banning count. All right, two banelings at a time is what you want to go for. That's exactly what Bly is doing. Suppy coming forward with his banelings as one. Well. Looks like he should have. Oh, oh my Suppy God. loses about six of his banelings to two of Bly's. Yep. Uh, he's going to be fine, but obviously not the most cost efficient trade in the world. And Bly making drones behind this. Suppy making drones as well. So these guys are. are um, Going to be laying off the aggression for a little bit. But Subby has a bunch of units on the field. He might try to be aggressive with those. He is, and this is really where he wishes he had those four more banings uh, that he, yeah. he kind of lost earlier because the counterattack is what's very, very strong after you defend and get your speed up with a double hatch reproduction. Bly has no spine card to defend. The banings are morphed in time. The speed needs to get into the main. The queen's well positioned, but it is going to go down eventually. Drones are being targeted as well. Queen gonna go down, the drones are not being pulled just yet. Oh. Baylin's gonna go into the main base. Suppy playing with Suppy. fire. Give Wanted to give those there. Banelings a hug before they exploded, and he was quite successful. Um, but it looks like Bly should be able to, to hold this off. He's and holding it off, but he's taking substantial damage. A queen went down, several drones went down. Suppy, another queen might go down, it's being targeted in the main. Suppy speeding, oh, great positioning by Bly though, not allowing him to get that surround. Suppy's flanking from the oh, backside. Oh, it's going to be close. The queen is going to survive. Wow, and that's and so important, hitting those in jacks. Are the heroes of the day. Wow, so things have kind of normalized. Let's take a look at the way things are right now. Okay. Drones are about even. Yep. Uh, but Suppy's lair is moments from completion, going up to four gas now with Suppy, whereas Bly's lair is just started. He's going up to four gas as well, but uh, I mean, assuming both players will go for that Spire option, Suppy is going to be substantially ahead in the Spire, which means he has map control at the very least, even if he can't quite kill Bly, which will mean a faster third base. Suppy doing a great job getting stuff done behind that uh, that Zergling Baneling aggression we just saw, of course, uh, ensuring he keeps up with the drones, hitting that layer button, and of course now we're seeing that payoff because the Spire has begun. His opponent's layer is not even completed yet. So again, Suppy could t uh, potentially have uh, a Muta advantage. Now the gas count is going to be very important as we continue forward, but uh, Suppy should be ahead in that regard as well because again, uh, Bly still has yet to make uh, that Spire, and still making a lot of links and a few Bane links in that production tab. I really like how safe Suppy's been. He knows this tech is so far ahead of Bly's because he was in Bly's main base for such a long time, knew exactly uh, that, that Bly was at a hatchery tech still uh, for, for at least a, a good while. And so he's getting that second spine course, and you know what? If, if I can not have to build Speedings and Banes, that means I can devote the rest of my resources to building the bankroll to build a lot of Mulis as soon as that Spire finishes. We can see there the gas count is probably going to be closing on six to 700 when that Spire finishes, and the minerals will be able to match it as Suppy's conserving his resources using Spine Cores and Banes to defend. Suppy looking for that Spire, and he did in fact see it, so he's going to oh, know the progress of that. Two banings for two banings there. Bly uh, looking to put on a little bit of aggression, kind of hanging outside uh, Suppy's base, but now back on the retreat, speedings. Uh, saying, you know what, we can't get anything down there. Again, Suppy with a very fast Zergony, or uh, excuse me, Mutalist armor upgrade. Yep. Six meters in production, and Bly's Spires, 80% of the way done. Suppy has that supply advantage, 82 to 65, but again, part of that is because Bly is banking a lot of resources in anticipation of making a lot of meters. Of course, putting that third base down, Suppy going to try to prevent that from happening, has a lot of links on his opponent's side of the map. Great Bailing connection there from Bly coming out of nowhere with those banelings and going to try to get another solid connection. Suppy going to be trying to posture a little bit back. Bly doing a great job peeling away some Zerglings to take down the banelings of his opponent. And now it's going to be the battle 
for that third base. Who can secure that? Who can get that fifth and sixth gas? And who can retain a higher Muta count while continuing with those Muta upgrades? Bly's third is faster, but Suffy's Zergings are taking it down now. On the other hand, Bly has a squad of Zergings running into counter at Suffy's base. Can Suffy defend his hatchery? He's got the Muta list. Where are they going to go? Yeah, the Muta's just now popping here. For Bly, going to start taking down these lings that are trying to uh, take down the third base. Taking down some overlords as well. Meanwhile, Suppy starting to accumulate those mutas as well. Suppy's again, losing a lot of overlords here at Bly's base. Overlord after overlord taken down by the mutalists. And even with the faster lair. Supply blocks. Yeah, Bly seems to be in great shape here with a uh, nice supply lead, uh, taking down many overlords. Suppy, uh, you know. Pretty much had to use his Mulus on defensive duties. Now Bly catching a rally Mulus here as well. And uh, uh, yeah. a speed encounter may be poised oh, to go to the third base. Are these Mutas caught off guard? Suppy going to try to track down the Mutas from Bly. Looking at the units count, it's going to be 12 to 9. Meanwhile, we do have a Zergling counterattack into the third base of Bly. The Mutas from Suppy going to be pursuing Bly across the map. And now Suppy is going to have to back those Mutas up to try to deal with that counterattack. But the third goes down. Such a great play by Bly there, distracting Suppy's mutas, taking down the third base. Now the burden is on Suppy as he's reconstructing his third base to go in and try to take out Bly's. He has the upgrade advantage. He has he the good has count of mutalists. The hatchery is already weakened. Bly has, oh, he's got three queens to help defend. 16 to 11 muta advantage transfuses. for Suppy. Great transfuses onto the mutas. That can help. Uh, a bunch, especially a Muta versus Muta, keeping those Mutas alive so important. Now Suppy is going to be on the run. Did not accomplish his goal of taking down the third base of his opponent. Now Suppy is going to be on the run in a sense, trying to add on more and more units to this composition. But Bly has those queens, has that anti-air ability, and of course that important transfuse showing how uh, useful that can be in that last battle. Suppy's trying to get something done now, knowing the queens are the third base, but Bly chasing him away again. Suppy, I think, with more Mutas upgrade advantage as well. Bly needs those queens to win the air battle at the moment. Zergin's going down. Look how many queens five. Bly has. Great He's got five hanging there. out there. That's exactly what he needs. And again, what's important here is Suppy's third base just now, uh, it's, it's being built here. Yeah, it's about to finish. But Bly has been mining from his third base for such a long time. That's so much additional gas. That's what's important, which means more and more mutas. And it looks like, uh, you know, of course, Bly spending some extra minerals on those queens. A great decision that turned out to be. And I feel like Bly has a pretty solid advantage here playing a, a great game for he does now, equalizing upgrades in the air. Suppy, of course, is more advanced with the flyer attacks. When that finishes, he will again regain the upgrade advantage. Still having the map control, trying to put on pressure is Suppy. Bly's been mining gas off that third base, though. Who has greater Mutalis now? Earlier it was Suppy, but now Bly's overtaking him. 22 to 19. Utilizing Bly. the extra gas he's, he's had from his third base. A counterattack with speedings into the natural, delaying the gas mine of Suppy yet again. Another rally, Mutalis being picked off. Bly is doing a lot of damage here. Bly has the Muta count lead, 22 to 19, but Suppy's going to try to engage here with the Mutas of his own. Bly has the supply advantage, 125 to 91. A Zergling counterattack happening in Bly's third base, but all that matters right now are these Mutas versus Mutas. Whoever comes out on top of this battle should win this game. Meanwhile, Suppy's natural expansion is under fire by about a billion Zerglings. That will fall. A lot of drones dead as well. There's the GG from Suppy, and Bly takes the 3-1 very very, very, very inspiring uh, from our Blue Zerg player. Of course, you know, that, that game could have gone either way as that continued forward. And, and just, uh, I think the Queens made, made a pretty big deal there in that game. They really did. I mean, Suppy had, he had a couple extra Mulas over his opponent uh, there with the faster layer. Yeah. And he had the better upgrades. Yeah. Uh, so he had to get some damage done there. The Queens defend the third base. He uh, lost his third. He did. Perhaps if he went, he went around straight to the main. When there was five queens at the third, it would have yeah. been nothing in the main. And Muta versus Muta, he would have won at that point. Of course, if you go into main, you're, you have to be very careful about your rally. Uh, but maybe that would have given him a chance, as is, though. Bly defended, and then, of course, six gas to four, got the extra Muta count. As soon as he hit that arm upgrade to get equalized, yeah. launched the counter, and, uh, and took that one home. Yeah, a gr great game there from Bly, and a great series as well. That means Suppy is going to be out of our Constellation Bracket, and Bly will move on to the next round. Let's go ahead and take a look at that upgraded, that updated, excuse me, Bracket. Bly moves on to face the winner of Vibe versus State. Marine King, of course, advancing from yesterday. 3-2 over Seed, and he will play the winner of Huck versus Baby Knight. Of course, on the other side of the Bracket, all those matches still to come. Again, guys, every day, 5 p.m. Eastern. Let's take a look at the schedule to see what's coming up. Uh, later on this week, Thursday, tomorrow, we're going to have Vibe versus State Root Gaming. 
Uh, Rude Gaming's Vibe versus, I think, State is currently teamless, but that should be a great PVZ. Of course, Vibe falling to Sen in round one of the Winter Championship, State falling to Parting in round one. And of course, Friday is going to be a premier matchup between Huck and Baby Knight, one of the best Protosses in Europe versus one of the best Protosses from North America. 5 p.m. Eastern. Every single day, guys, tune in. This is happening next week as well. A bunch of awesome StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm coming your way from the best players in the world. Uh, and coming up next, we should talk about Rules of Engagement a little bit. That's right. Coming up next, right after this, is going to be Rules of Engagement. Going to be going over them. Ranking versus Seed Match. Uh, it was on yesterday at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you missed it, watch Rules of Engagement. Check out the VODs, youtube.com slash official. MLG SC2 was a great series. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over games one, two, and four. Of course, I think those are the three best games in the series. Very, very exciting content. So don't go anywhere, but this is going to be coming right at you guys in just a few minutes. Yeah, and if you're a new player, old player, seasoned veteran, you're definitely going to be able to learn something from Rules of Engagement. Great source for you guys to take advantage of. Free to watch 720p HD. Uh, again, shout out to uh, Full Sail University. Of course, um, if you're looking for the next step in your educational path, uh, check out uh, Full Sail University, of course, the education partner of MLG. And, of course, uh, if you want to watch in 1080p, you have the option to purchase that pass. So be sure to take advantage of that. This is being offered right now in uh, 720p for free. But if you want a little bit more, you can definitely show your support for MLG um, and esports by, by purchasing that pass. So take advantage of that if you feel like it. Of course, uh, this has been the MLG Winter Exhibition, a best of five between Bly and Suppy. Once again, congratulations to Bly for taking out Suppy three to one. He will advance on to the next round of a bracket. Of course, tune in tomorrow. It's going to be Vibe versus my mind is now abandoning me. It was State. It? Vibe versus State. Yeah, Vibe versus State will be tomorrow, exact same time, 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll be here. This has been Axel Toss and Axel. I'll see you in a few minutes with the Rules of Engagement.